There we go. Sheesh. What's up? Ugh. Oh, good morning. What's going on? What up? Stream beats silence. What's up, bearded IT? Thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back, man. Lighting game drippy. We're actually working on it today. I'm seeing today, I'm driving up to a friend's house who lives an hour away. I'm driving up there with one of these lights. We're gonna see if we can rip out the gut, actually build a light fixture, rip out the guts and put that in there. And if we can do that, if we can do that, then we'll have some sick lights in here. Whoa. I'm, I'm just, I'm torn between listening to this amazing Stream Beats track and uh, and playing guitar. Hey, uh, so coming up pretty soon here, we're going to start a budget on actually marketing Stream Beats, which is going to be kind of sick. Uh, so you guys know, I've been pretty transparent with you guys. I've been switching things around for a little bit. I've needed a pretty big change. Guitar's loud. It's good to know. Does this work? I do this. Oh my gosh. That that quieted it down, right? Now it's too low. We'll find the right spot. We'll find the right spot. Hold on. Let me do it inside Beacon. How about that? Maybe up a tiny bit more, still really quiet. I think it just, you know, Beacon stuff just froze a little bit, hold up. Why is that not controlling it? Oh, that's because I'm on something different. There we go, now I can see. I'm looking at the wrong knob. <laughs> If we turn it up to 90%. Oh, actually, that's why it doesn't even matter. Oh, 
There we go, those pinches. I don't know how to play Freebird. I actually don't even, I don't even remember how that song goes. <laughs> I never, I never listened to that song. Uh, yo, bros, I think you for the nine months. Swar Cobra. Think of the 16 months. No, but you guys know we've been we've been kind of switching some stuff up a little bit. We've been we've been moving some things around. Uh I've been adjusting the content, changing schedules, um, working on stuff on the back end. Uh, streaming is possible to use for recorded videos and audio without being like YouTube videos. Absolutely. We put a ton of effort into making stream beats available and safeties. In fact, the safest place for stream beats is YouTube because YouTube is the only one that has their own, uh, their own system content ID, which has its flaws. Nobody's saying it's perfect, but Twitch uses audible magic and audible magic has been terrible. Like we worked with Audible Magic, we sent them, we developed our own software in order to inject our metadata into their system. Still get stuff muted on Twitch. Facebook's worse. I mean, it's because it, because Audible Magic let uh, issues go through, and then Facebook is incredibly aggressive. A combination of Facebook's aggressiveness and Audible Magic's subpar system caused Facebook to be a nightmare with stream beats, even though it's safe. Um, Twitch is fine. It just occasionally mutes stuff because Audible Magic thinks it's a different song because it's just not good. YouTube is the only place we are able to actually put our stuff into, check and make sure that it's safe. Once it comes back, it's totally fine. Uh, we can whitelist it. Giving up Epidemic Sound, do you stream it exclusively? Dude, that's dope. I mean, the worst thing that happens on Twitch is occasional mutes. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Anyway, there's the pinch. What about podcasting? Yeah, please do. Absolutely. I have no idea what happens if you put it in a podcast on Spotify. I have no clue. I need to work on my uh, sweeps. Um, I would like to find, I'd like to find out, I'd like to check it out. But the problem is that those don't have any systems for us. So I have no idea what happens if you put it on there. If you put your podcast on YouTube, it'll be no problem, but it's just, it's just the platform. And does the platform have a way of making stuff whitelisted? And YouTube is the only place that has like a legitimate system the, for claims we receive on platforms like Facebook or Twitch. Would appealing the claims be an option using the public sync license? I'd want to say yes. Like when you when you appeal claims like on YouTube again, and when you appeal claims on YouTube, the only like what happens is the claim gets sent back to me. And if I don't respond in 30 days, it goes away. Uh, so like when there is a fake claim, the problem with <laughs> the problem with fake claims on YouTube is they're done by other people. Lots of times they're like the, the very few times it's happened. It's because someone has uh, maliciously issued a false claim. And so if you appeal it, <laughs> YouTube just sends the, the, the appeal to the person who intentionally false claimed you. I have, we have had people appeal claims on YouTube and have them removed. We've never actually had anyone have problems with it. But the problem is then it goes into a system where like, if there is someone maliciously trying to steal money from you, usually the platform just sends the appeal over to that person who's trying to steal from you. And like, I don't, that's risky. There's, I, it's, I am not in that equation. So 
uh, if you ever try stuff, report back to me and let me know how it goes. We do everything that we can. There's a limited, a limited amount of things we can do. We've made stuff as safe as, as is literally possible. And we spend a ton of money doing that. <laughs> um, but if there's a problem and you, and you, uh, I would say if you're willing to see what happens, absolutely try it. And then let me know what happens, please. I would love that. Uh, and I do accept super chats. You got you got something in mind for me? By the way, Maria, shred away. play anything i don't even remember how to play my own solos i don't pick up guitar enough how was google fiber dude google fiber is fantastic it's fantastic i don't know how to play freeberg <laughs> There's the there's the Metallica. Just go through five, business fiber, uh, just the one gig up and down. I can't. There's really no reason I need more than that. My upload speed has increased by fifty times. Fifty times, and I'm saving thirty dollars a month. Jeez. You look totally awake and not overworked today. I feel like that's uh, I feel like that's sarcasm, and it hurts a little bit. I use Streambeats on a podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google, and Amazon, hosted by Buzzsprout. No issues. Well, that's fantastic. You guys want to know how many network frames I've dropped this stream? We've been live for almost 15 minutes. Um, last time I was, I had, by the end of the stream, I dropped, I mean, actually within the first five minutes of the last stream, I dropped about 400 frames. Want to know how many network frames I've dropped on this stream? Zero buds, <laughs> not a single one. <laughs> Why are your fingers painted? Because it's fun. What about a stream? What about stream beats and game development? That's one of those things where it kind of depends on the project. If we're talking like a triple A studio, no, we're not giving them our music for free. If we're talking like a little indie indie developer, someone making their first game or whatever, yeah, I'm not going to charge you for using stream beats. So we've actually had a couple companies reach out to us. Sometimes it's just like a little indie development studio, and we were like, yeah, sure, go for it. And then one time we had a big company reach out to us. Um. Oh, whatever happened with that? I don't even know. They were asking for some pretty unreasonable stuff. They asked us to like basically make original music for their game. We're like, yeah, sure, fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> like, do you know how expensive that is to make custom music for exactly your needs? Yeah, right. And I don't remember ever hearing back. <laughs> We tried to get them to just like sign a deal with like what we already had. And they're like, no, we need custom stuff. We're like, okay, well, we, we don't have the time and the resources to do that.
Is Three Beats free? Yes. <laughs> That wasn't a good pinch. Putting on stream beats metal, dude. That, that's actually a, a big goal of mine. I'm getting back into to music production. I actually find that you remember the issue we had last stream with the piano not working properly. I figured it out, which is weird because I'm pretty sure I tried something that I tried on stream, but for some reason it didn't work earlier. I must have missed one specific setting, but figured it out. Started working on it last night just for like an hour, and it was really nice. It was fun. It's hard though. Chamon, thank you for the three months. Bowler forever. Thank you for the five months on the moon. We just need Harris Shreds You to Sleep album on Stream Beats. That will be used by you and you alone. But thank you. Shreds You to Sleep. I'm pretty sure it'll be used by you like once. Move to YouTube from Facebook this June and got partnered. I gave you the courage, dude. Congrats, man. Thank you. That's really nice. Dreams do come true. Dude, keep it, keep it up. Keep going. Love to see what you do with it. Uh, yeah, to get get to hopefully one day I'll have the opportunity to raid you. That'll be fun. The Game Pass Guru. Is the music playing? Music, the music, the Spotify button on the stream deck stopped working. There we go. Game Pass Guru. Welcome to the Thrifty Boys. Brand new member. Welcome, man. Thank you. Greg Nelson, thank you for the 11 months. Eric on deck. E-Rock? Eric? I never know how to pronounce when people do that. There, there are a couple content creators I know. I feel like it's supposed to be Eric. Am I wrong? Is it E-Rock? Nobody knows. When you record for YouTube, do you record multiple takes and send an hour of footage for edit? Or what's the best way to record for the edit? Yes. So for me, and this is going to be different for everybody, but for me, I usually, usually, not always, but usually like the last one I filmed, I didn't actually. This next one, I'm not going to. It's going to be very vloggy, very impromptu. Um, but yeah, I usually write a script like like almost word for word, not because I want to be fully scripted, but because that allows me to get all my thoughts out and allows me to make sure I have everything that is important to mention on the paper in front of me so I don't miss anything. I'm always worried whenever I um, whenever I just do stuff like, in, like uh, improvised, I'm always like, what if I miss something? What do I need to say? My mind's racing around like, what can I, what will happen if I forget to say something? What is something I might forget to say? How do I make sure I say everything? And then I end up, I end up talking and just rambling for forever. Scripting it out for me allows me to work through my thoughts, get down exactly what I want to say, and get it down exactly in a way that I'd want to say it concisely and simply, easy to understand. And then, because I have all that in front of me, then I can go off script if I want, because it's like a roadmap. It's a perfect roadmap. I can go off script. I know exactly where I need to get back to. When I'm going through it, I can change the way I say things. I can say something different. I can take things out if I feel it's unnecessary. I can add things in, but then I get right back to the script and I don't have to like, I don't have to worry. I don't have to have something in the back of my, of my mind spinning about like, what if I say something wrong? What if I forget something? What are all the things that I need to mention? So I end up going off, like off script for a good portion of the video and having a script helps me improvise more. Um, and then yes, there are times when I have to say a sentence 10 times because I keep saying a word wrong or missing something or whatever. Um, and yes, Scott goes through and has to, it usually, usually it's about 30 to 40 minutes of footage. A video will be, a 10 minute video will be 30 to 40 minutes of footage. You gonna do a new setup tour? We're finishing up one or two things. I can't improvise, I also end up using a lot of fillers, extra phrases. I script out almost word for word as well. Yeah. Hey, once you once you start like just scripting stuff out and getting used to it, it becomes, for me at least, it becomes way easier to improvise. I'm just not worried about anything. I'm not overthinking anything because I've already laid everything out. I have a whole short made where it's five seconds of me trying to say, but <laughs> that sounds about right. 50 seconds of you trying to say, but 
What's up, Nappers? 16 months, welcome back. What camera would you recommend for live stream, virtual meetings, and real estate photography side hustle? Lots of cameras. Depends on your budget. Totally depends on your budget. Uh, if you're looking for like the cheapest possible, grab a Sony, like a used Sony, like find like a Sony A5100 on Craigslist or on uh, Facebook Marketplace or something. Like a, like a, you know, any any mirrorless crop sensor camera from Sony from the last 10 years is going to be great. And then grab the uh, Sigma. The Sigma 16 mil is fantastic. I was wondering how many tech reviews have you done? I just went through and replaced the Discord link in every single video on the channel, and it was 348 videos. They're not all tech reviews. Some of them are analysis type things of YouTube and Twitch and new features and whatever. Some of them are PC builds. I guess that's a tech video. It's not a review video, um, but we've made 348 videos on this channel. How's the road, the road podcaster two working out the roadcaster two, roadcaster pro two. It is, uh, flawless. It has been, I have had zero issues with it. I've had zero, zero glitches, zero hangups. They added the new, um, the new, what's it called? Um, what is it freaking called? <laughs> My brain just died. The new routing table, it's amazing. The Roadcast Caster Pro Caster Cast 2. Yeah, it's seriously. Their naming scheme, they have a Roadcaster, they have a Pro Cat Pro Road Pro. They, so they have a Roadcaster Pro, they have a Road Procaster, they have a Road Podcaster. It's just stop. It's not clever. It's annoying. Uh, Dallas, welcome to the thrifty boys. Thank you. And Dracarius, thank you for the super chat. Just use mercury to do it for you. Can mercury go through and find specific things and replace things? I didn't even think to look there. I looked at TubeBuddy and stuff, but I've had, or it's either TubeBuddy or vidIQ. I don't remember. I remember having issues with them in the past and I'd have to pay for it. I paid for it once. I paid for a month and then I did like a find and replace and it only got like a third of my videos. And so I, I still had to go through and manually do a bunch of them. So I didn't trust it, but I didn't even think about using mercury. <laughs> Someone who wants to start making video content but can't afford Adobe to edit videos. Is there a program you would recommend that can get similar results? Yeah, uh, DaVinci Resolve is free. And people love DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve? DaVinci Resolve. Absolutely. Absolutely pick up DaVinci Resolve. Uh, yeah, fingernails. This time I went with Senpai Colors, just for fun. If you're on a Mac, just use iMovie. iMovie's awesome. All right. I want to start reading. We, uh, what was I talking about? I want to finish saying what I was saying earlier. And then I want some song requests while we're talking about your content. I'm super excited about what we're doing, by the way. By the way, Dallas. Oh, I called that one out. J JK. JK Law. Um, 
Shall I ditch Beacon and go XLR for Road? Beacon and go XLR? Why do you use both? Um, no, I don't think the Roadcaster Pro is the best solution for a single person streamer. I think you have devices that are made for single person streamers. The Beacon stuff, the Go XLR, the Wave XLR. Those are all great options designed for a single user setup. The uh, Roadcaster Pro is definitely designed for podcasters right now. Um, with features added to make it doable for other content. But at its price, it is definitely not the best bang for your buck if all you're doing is single person streaming. Definitely not. Considering you can get a, a beacon mic that has the entire mixer and multiple virtual consoles and ins and outs and everything like you can get this for 280 bucks. No, absolutely cannot recommend a, a, a Rodecaster Pro 2 just for just for a single person streamer, especially since you need to get a microphone on top of that. Adam Klopatowski, thank you for the 16 months. Do you have any tips? Do you have any new tips on how to use OBS Studio and any tips on how to use OBS Streamlabs? I have never used Streamlabs studio or whatever they call it now stream it used to be streamlabs obs they changed it to streamlabs studio um i try I downloaded it and i tried to use it and it had a bajillion bugs i also don't like that it can't use plugins and stuff i also just don't like the company streamlabs um i think they're kind of a sleazy company so i don't plan on using streamlabs it seems much more pleasing to the eye than regular obs but it's just kind of an iffy company and i wouldn't recommend jumping into there um just also throughout the, t I mean, I'm sure they've upgraded it a ton now, but like a lot of plugins don't work for it. A lot of stuff that I do just, it doesn't help at all. It ends up just kind of being more difficult. Number one reason to switch from Twitch to YouTube, uh, longevity. The platform that is going to be the number one streaming platform in a couple of years for sure. That's it. If you're already massive on Twitch, don't switch. If you're making money on Twitch, don't switch. Not yet. Just work on your YouTube channel. Grow your YouTube channel. If you're starting out fresh, absolutely start on YouTube. Saying that Streamlabs is kind of sleazy is like saying the sun is kind of hot. I don't like I don't like starting drama, man. So I, I tone things down. <laughs> Did you know that I was actually supposed to be inside of the Kill It Anyway video because the editor didn't download my clip on time, so it's just a link in the description with, as my old username. Uh, I know that happened with half the footage, and we were really irritated with him. We told him there was a deadline. I sent him all the stuff, and then he just didn't download it. He's like, hey, I'm getting back from Christmas soon. I'll start downloading stuff. And we're like, we told you you needed to have it downloaded by yesterday, and you didn't download any of it. So we had to send out a whole link to everyone like, hey, if you sent it, please send it again. We haven't really worked with he's a he's a good kid. He's a good kid. You really dropped the ball there, and it was really frustrated. Frustrating. Well, I said it and I don't care. <laughs> Am I unbanned from Discord? I think the unbans go up tomorrow. <laughs> Will the beacon mic be your go-to mic until a new better mic comes out? Uh and I would say until a better system comes out. Um the thing, it's not that like this mic is the best sounding mic in the world. I did a whole thing on this microphone and that was probably my biggest one of like, I went from the best things to the worst things near the end. I talked about the mic quality. It's a good, it's a good sounding mic. It's not the best sounding mic. There are better sounding mics. It's a good sounding mic. Um, the thing is it's software and it's ecosystem. I just, I can't leave. It does stuff that no other system does and I can't, I can't change it. Having a beacon mix create and a beacon mix in front of me where I have at the tip of my fingertips anything I want to adjust right there. I have eight knobs right here in front of me. I can change everything. Can't give that up. Can't do it. It's footprint is super tiny. It's a beautiful microphone. Can't give it away.
Can't give it up. So yeah, I would need a, a system that I think, I think it'd be fun to have the ability. Like if, you know, if they ever released an XLR setup, I think it'd be a lot of fun to, uh, you know, mess around with different mics and try new things and have different styles on stream and stuff. Um, I like them. It's not like I, I'm ready to get rid of this microphone. I need to try a better microphone. It's a good microphone. Um, it's just fun to, to try things up. So it'd be cool to have an XLR system that, um, you know, if they have an XLR interface to have something like that, that I can mess around with and try new mics every once in a while. I'd, I'd enjoy that. Watching Harris play around on instruments makes me so sad. My parents were never able to help me grow my interest in instruments. I don't think at 34 years old, it'd be possible to learn guitar. It'd be hard. Dude, so I'm turning 34 in September, I'm turning 34 next month. Shoot. Turning 34 next month. Um, and uh, turning 34 and I'm, I've been taking Japanese lessons for almost four years now. Probably three and a half years now. And it's, dude, it's been a struggle. You just get this old, it's so hard to learn new stuff. Have you talked about your guitar streaming setup? Have plugged into an interface and using amp plugins. Um, yeah, so I go into an Axe FX3. You can actually see it over here. It's that guy right there. So I plug into an Axe FX3. Um, and so that's, and I've got the whole plugin set up down here. So that does, that does everything I needed to do for sound. And then it actually goes, this is where I use the Rodecaster Pro. Then I go straight out, I use stereo out. So I go left and right out directly into the road, or directly into the Rodecaster Pro. Um, and that feeds it both into my Mac and into my PC. So if I want to stream, it's going directly into my PC. And here's the kicker. And I can control the volume with my beacon setup. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Listen to this. Sorry, hold on. It was coming through the it was coming through the, the microphone, so you were hearing it pretty much full volume no matter what. Like not only can I bring it through my PC and I can control the volume with my beacon setup, but it also comes out my monitors so I can hear it and I can jam out and like crank the volume and hear. It's not like just coming through headphones. It's going into the stream and coming out of my monitors and it's going into my Mac. So if I wanted to record stuff for some lo-fi production or whatever, I can set it to my lo-fi preset and it's just recording directly to my Mac too. Super, super dope. So, I use, so on my Rodecaster Pro, I'll do this, I'll, I'll tell you all about this when we do the, uh, the studio tour. By the way, Zorostro, thank you for the, that's a year. We had a whole year. Zorostro, welcome back. I saw your new tweet. We're just, uh, it's going to be, if, if I end up like, I'm not ignoring you. Just know that if we end up responding, give, give me, it'll be a minute. <laughs> What's the lo-fi preset? I haven't put one together yet. I literally just finally got it all set up last night and I'm starting off. Do you use the FX3 with Beacon? The camera? No, the FX3 is out there. This is the A7 Mark IV. And it's a phenomenal camera. If you're looking for a good entry-level hybrid photo and video full-frame camera, the Sony A7 Mark IV is fantastic. It's expensive. It's $2,600, $2,500. But for a full frame 4K, potentially 4K 30, you just have a crop at 4K 60. Oh, sorry, 4K 60, just with a crop. 4K 30, no crop. You get a full frame 4K, no crop, 4K 30 camera and 33 megapixel pictures. And the colors are fantastic. It's a dude, this is probably the best hybrid camera you can buy. Nope, I meant guitar stuff. I only heard half of that. What did you ask? What did I answer? I don't even remember what I, what I... Do you use the FX3? Oh, <laughs> Axe FX3. <laughs> you say FX3, I think Sony FX3. We've got that, we use that camera as our main camera for a while. The Axe FX, okay, that makes sense. I see it on there now, FX3. Um, yes. 
So yeah, so the Axe FX3, again, so this is my setup. So the Roadcaster Pro has four inputs. They're, they're, they're uh, combo inputs. So they have both XLR and they have like regular line in stuff. So I go out of the left and right out of the guitar into input three and four. And then in there, you can combine three and four into a stereo input. So I combine three and four to a stereo input so I can control it with a single fader. So my guitar is controlled, even though it's a stereo, which is super cool that I can get a stereo sound. That way, if I'm doing like effects like delay and stuff, I can get a stereo sound on it and it maintains that stereo sound. And it, uh, I control it with a single fader because I can combine three and four into a stereo input. Super dope. Um, and then it's connected via USB. USB 1 is connected to my PC. USB 2 is connected to my Mac. And they both connect to it just like a regular, it's like a regular interface. It's amazing. I can't believe how well they got that working. I can't believe I haven't had a single bug with that. That seems like something I'd have a bajillion bugs with. No bugs. Um, I also have this microphone. My shotgun microphone, since it's, an, since it's an XLR microphone, my shotgun microphone goes into microphone input one. So I have three of the four XLR inputs taken up. Microphone is into one, guitar is into three and four. I have two available because I've kind of wanted to set up a couple other cameras over here as like a more music based setup that's more made for like music TikToks and stuff once I get this room finished. And I wanted to set up like the SM7B or something on another arm, just like right over there, all going through the same system um, just for music stuff, which I think would be really cool. Do you watch any guitar YouTubers? I actually watch more bass YouTubers than guitar. I mean, there's the, uh, what's his name? Ichiko? Chico Santo or something? What's his name? Who's that guitarist that's like posts like 30 second guitar videos that are mind blowing? I also really love Tim Henson. He's fantastic. Ich canito. That's what it is. Ichika. Look at chat. Spamming his name. He deserves it. Uh, Pilo Wesley, thank you for the super chat. Wavelink just factory reset my VST plugins overnight. Erasing hours of work, fine tuning my mic settings. Really? That's the first time I've heard of that. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear it. Yeah, that sucks. Um, love Davey 504. I can't believe a bass YouTuber. Imagine being so good at YouTuber that you're a bass guitar YouTuber and you have over 10 million subs. That's how you know you're a good YouTuber. If the least popular instrument in a rock band becomes one of the most popular YouTubers. That's incredible. What's the ring blue right ring of blue right around your SM7B ring of blue light? That was rough. Yeah, no, this is a, this is not an SM7B. This is a beacon mic. I used to watch Victor Wooten videos for hours every day. I don't know who that is. I assume he's another another guitar YouTuber. Can you produce? I'm literally. I just I just started diving back into Apple Logic Logic Pro last night. I finally got it all set up. Oh, that's another thing. So I have a Mac mini inside this whole rig over here. There's a little hidden Mac mini just chilling in there. One of the new M1 ones. It's got, it's the one with 16 gigs. So it's, it's not the base model. It's got 16 gigs of Ram. Um, and then upgraded to, I think a terabyte hard drive or SSD. So, but still just a little M1 Mac mini. It's fantastic. And here's the kicker. I set it. So in power settings, these are little tricks. We're just gonna have a little tips and tricks moment here. Um, I set it so that, uh, if it gets powered off, like if it loses power, there's a setting in your settings where if something, if the power is cut on Macs that don't have a battery, if the power is cut and it's shut down improperly like that, you can set it to turn back on as soon as it receives power again. So I don't know if I'm doing any damage to the machine. Probably not. I feel like at this point. They've figured out how to not let this damage. As long as it's not in the middle of some kind of process, I kind of let it like I shut every all the programs down beforehand. But I've got a power a power supply switch. That's what all those little orange switches are right there. The far left one is my Mac, so I don't have to reach in and turn it on and off. I just flip that switch. It provides power to it. It boots back up, and then I turn it off, shuts the whole thing down, and then because it shuts it off by killing the power to it, and then when I'm ready to turn it back on, 
I just flip that switch, it turns the whole thing back on again. And that's coming in through this machine, the same, uh, this, the, coming through this monitor, the same monitor I use for gaming. And on its way there, it goes through a capture card. So the HDMI out goes under the desk, it's wrapped around under the desk, and then right under the PC, a, an NZXT capture card is mounted underneath the desk. Uh, it goes through there, so that's how I can pick it up on my PC. Goes through there and then continues on and goes into this monitor. So that way, if we get good at, good enough at producing lo-fi that I can do it on stream, which I plan to do, I can stream it for you guys. And then again, because of the Rodecaster Pro, <laughs> any music, any sounds made on the Mac go d through the Rodecaster Pro and then into the PC. I can do anything, anything at this setup. I think I may have found my God setup. This place is perfect. I love my setup. What's up, Aiden? I keep going to that mic when we're playing guitar. I have the same Mac Mini and using Logic, but I'm using a one terabyte internal SSD. I literally just said that's what I was using. Come on, man. So there's a couple things I want to do. There's a couple things I really want to do at that setup. Um, if you guys have any ideas for me. Let me know. One of the things I'm doing tonight, I'm going to be taking down one of these strip lights and we're going to be building a light fixture that I can hang from this ceiling. And, uh, and it's good. It's supposed to look as nice as the last one looked, but it's not going to cost $5,000. It's going to cost like $200, <laughs> but I'll be able to control it with my stream deck. I have got an iPad mini coming in today. I'm going to mount to the wall over there. So I'll have that on the wall, be able to control it with that. I'll have lights, they'll be RGB technically. If I really want to like mood light the area, I can do that. How's the setup coming along? I'm very happy with this room. You know what my only complaint is? Can I give you a first world complaint? This couch is not deep enough. It's not comfortable. I don't like sitting on that couch because it's not comfortable enough. So I rarely spend time on this couch. I usually spend time out on that couch out there. And which is a bummer because that was the whole reason I put, I wanted a couch in here so I could relax in here. But I didn't, I didn't get a couch that was super deep because I didn't like, when I was like designing the room, when I would put a deep couch, I'd be like, oh my gosh, that's taking up all the space. But look how much room I have. What am I gonna do? With, I, I really underestimated how much, how big this room is going to be. It looks bigger on this on this camera because uh, because it's a super wide angle. It's not. It's it's actually wider this way than it is deep this way. But I'm pretty sure this camera makes it look really long and kind of narrow. Um, it's actually quite a bit wider this way. But so we hired. She's a sweetheart. I don't want. I'm not going to say any names or, or anything because she did her best. I, I don't, I, we kind of gave her, I didn't give her a ton of direction because I didn't know what I wanted. But we had like a designer pick a lot of stuff. We had an interior designer come and help with our house. And she ordered, she ordered a lot of desks. She ordered a lot of couches. She ordered a lot of stuff. And because she's an interior designer, she got like these fancy brands and everything was super expensive. And I ended up not liking almost anything. The coffee table out there is a nightmare. The, I ended up, canceling the order for the two couches and finding my own that was half the price. And I like those ones way better than I like this one. And it was just gonna be two more of these. So a lot of stuff like that. So if it's a great base trap. Yeah, I still need, I need a piece of art. Can I show you guys what I want for the piece of art up here? I found something really cool on the internet. Hold on, why can this be? No, it was, I think it was, hold on. Let me see if I can find the exact piece of art that I found that I want someone, 
I want to find someone who can basically like make an original version of it. Cause it, for some reason this thing has like two paint strokes on it and it's like $125,000. Like I don't understand the art community at all. Um, but I want, it's, it's so simple and it is beautiful. And where is it? <laughs> and it's, and it's gone. I'll find, I'll find another one. Here's another one. Something like this. I want something like this that just has the Senpai logo in the middle. And I'm going to wrap it around three more of these acoustic, acoustic uh, panels and put it right in the middle there. That's all I want. That's, that's what I want for the artwork in there. Aiden, are you able to, are you able to make something like that? I'll pay you if you can make something like that. Can you do that? Do you have the Photoshop skills? I just realized you were in chat and you're a super talented dude. Don't be afraid to make your own art. Oh, dude, I'm not, I don't even know how, how to do that. <laughs> I'm good at like vector stuff. When it comes to like paint brushes, I'm useless. Can you give it a shot? If you do it, let me know what you would charge to make, it's neat, it needs to be big. Cause it needs to be six feet by four feet. So landscape, six feet by four feet with a, a DPI of 300 dots per inch. So it's like 14,000. I remember one of the dimensions was like 14,000 something. Um, it needed to be a very, very large image. But if you can literally like two or three paint strokes, uh, like big brush paint strokes, that's all I want. Yeah, in order to get it like like printed high resolution, it needs to be it needs to be 300 DPI. Where would we send you a picture of the design? Tweet it at me. If any of you guys have, look, if if I pick one, I look, I, just know. I want to make sure that you guys know. If one of you decides to do it and I don't use it, um. I, I, I can't pay for a million people sending me, sending me shots. I'm only going to pay for the one that I end up using, but I will pay for one that I end up using. So if one of you want to try it, you have an extra couple minutes, you're good at it. And you're like, Oh, I can do that in five minutes. Please send it to me. Tweet it at me. I'll hit you up. But that's the reason I can't use any of the Google ones is because I need it to be super high res. <laughs> There was one that just had two paint streaks. And that was the art piece that I can't find right now. I'm finding a lot of the ones I found before. But where is that last one? Where is the one that was actually like a piece of art? It, it popped up like, it was like the third result last time I searched this. I don't remember exactly what I searched though. Like this one's kind of sick too. Just like, just like, Someone knows how to use paint strokes in, uh, I actually think I'd like the Senpai logo to look like paint strokes too. There's always stock images, but they're never high resolution enough. This needs to be insanely high resolution. That's the main problem. Like let's, let's, let me just, I don't even know how to figure it out. <laughs> I don't want to figure it out. What are, what's Topaz Labs? Like this one showed up last time I Googled it. It's like, this is sick. It's a little bit too spread. It's too, too, too much energy in this one. Hold on. Art paint strokes. Where is the, where is the one? Where is it? I want to find it. It was similar to this. It was better than this. Look at history. It was on my MacBook. It wasn't, I didn't find it on this PC. It's like, this is sick.
I'll never find it again. It's not on the internet anymore. It's been erased from the internet. Go get the MacBook? No. <laughs> Leave me alone. That's so much effort. <laughs> It's not, it's not on the internet. It's, it's, this, it's disappeared from the internet. It's gone, guys. Yep. It doesn't exist anymore. Do you use Yahoo? Am I on Yahoo? When did that happen? Why is, when did my, what? That's why. When did Yahoo become my Chrome default search? Hold on. <sighs> Fixed it. Thank you for pointing that out. Seems like Google Chrome changed a lot of people to Yahoo. In what world, why would that happen? Why would Google Chrome pull people away from using Google? Hey. Hey, just wanted to show you your cute little girl. Oh, oh my goodness. She's all she ready for the, the day. She sees the microphone, she sees the microphone. How are you so cute? <laughs> Say hi to the people. Tell them, tell them something. Mmm. <laughs> I used your little spray. Out of focus. Hold on. Huh? I don't know if John from uh, from Beacon's still in here, but you guys want to send me an extra windscreen? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Is that delicious? We <laughs> see. Yeah, no, John. Uh, yeah. Uh, We're gonna go grab the mail and I'm gonna go grab this. Oh, he's still in here. <laughs> You're gonna grab lunch? I'm gonna grab lunch for all of us. Okay. What are you getting? No, yeah, something healthy. Are you aubergine? Over here? Sure. That one meal thing that you get me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Is it delicious? So they will. So they will. Oh, she. And on John. Hey, hey, needy dog. They know that anytime she's going to be happy. Yeah, so anytime we're giving Lennon attention, uh, Neko comes in and he's like, how come I'm not getting the attention? I need the attention. Oh, gross. All right, all right. She's had enough mic time. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, go grab us some lunch and bring it back. Okay, love you. I apologize. I haven't meal prepped yet, but I'm meal prepping oh, while she naps. So. Perfect. Thank you. Yep, love you. Neko boy. Oh, yeah. If you guys are in here, please, uh, please hit the thumbs up button. That'd be really great. Please uh, like this stream because it helps a ton and uh, it's free and uh, there you go. Yo, T-Mug, welcome back for a full year of the Thrifty Boys. All right, we're going to try it in Google. Black and white abstract art. Are we going to find it on Google? These look like very similar results. I'm seeing a lot of the same ones and I'm still not seeing, hold on, paint strokes. Still not seeing that one. I thought maybe we figured out the problem. What if I get more specific and say two paint strokes? You're on Yahoo again? Why am I on Yahoo? It says, look, it says Google. It says Google right there. 
and I went in here, look. Settings, search engine, Google. Abstract art, black and white. <sighs> I think I, I think the thing is I clicked back to like, oh yeah, let me just use the same, like it, it auto filled and when it auto filled, it also auto filled the browser. That's gotta be what it was. Eight strokes. We're on Google, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. I remember seeing a price, so maybe it's on Google Ads. Maybe no, no shopping. Okay, we're giving it one last shot in images. How fast is Google Fiber now? I would do it on the screen, but if I do it on the screen, it's going to, it's it's gonna tell you, get rid of these. It's gonna tell you my IP address and I'm not down for that. How about we do this? How about we do this? I'm gonna do a speed test and then And then, here, hold on. Okay, I don't think it says anywhere else on the screen. Only getting 700 for some reason right now. But that's okay, because look at the upload. Oh, it feels so good. The upload feels so good. I don't know what I'd ever need more than 700 for anyway. I don't really care. Oh, I switched back right before it went right before the uh, the location of my uh, the location of my IP address changed. Whew, and it almost went on the screen. Here we go. I'm nervous. I'm just I'm always a little nervous. Let's do one more time. There we go. Only 700. I prefer higher up than down. What do I do for download? I don't do anything for download speeds. Okay. I call that a success. Um, but anyway, what I was saying, I, I can't, I, sometimes it takes me a whole stream just to get a thought out because you guys distract me so much. Stop distracting me. Um, we're doing, uh, we're making a lot of changes. So, and I've, I've shared a lot of these with you. I've had some really open sessions with you guys. I've needed a, a change for a while now. Um, things have gotten stale. I've, I've been doing the same thing for like four, almost four years now with the Senpai Gaming channel. And, um, you know, Stream Beats is cool. I'm excited with what we're doing there, but in terms of content, I've needed a change. And we found a way that I think is gonna kill two or three birds with one stone in terms of marketing stream beats while at the same time building a personal brand, building a, a long brand. Cause like we could play ads, we could post ads, you know, do YouTube ads, do Twitch ads, uh, do, do, do TikTok ads for stream beats, whatever. I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to that. Um, if I were to hire a social media manager, it would be anywhere from four to $6,000 a month. And then if we wanted to also have a marketing budget, I mean, we're talking like $10,000 a month in a marketing budget. If we wanted like to pay, I would rather put that into content. I would rather put that into stuff that you guys can enjoy. And so if there's a marketing, a place I can put a marketing budget into that does more than just expose people to my stuff, that we can use to actually make good things. Like part of that is where, you know, we released the song with Tuwanto. We're maybe working on a music video with him. We did a song with Foosley. She was here. We're working on like, actually, we get tracks. I think we got a track with, with her coming out this week. I think. I think he's coming out this Friday. I gotta hit her up. 
we got to make sure we get some posts out this week to build some hype. Um, and we got another big track of hers coming out soon as well as working on music videos for both of them. We got a couple more tracks. We got a couple projects coming out, but for the most part, um, lo-fi production is something I've wanted to get into for a while. And lo-fi is such a big part of what we do here. And there's such a massive audience there that if I can, instead of putting money into a marketing budget, if I can put a, if I can put that budget into lo-fi content creation, do some really cool stuff. Like I would love to go to Japan and meet with Japanese musicians and put a whole Japanese lo-fi album, like produce a Japanese lo-fi album in Japan and document the whole thing. And then also push, you know, have a budget to, to market that kind of stuff, you know? Like imagine what a budget of $10,000 a month that I, that like, that's a very small budget for like marketing a large product, project, love large product. If I could put that into content instead and build, I do that on my channel and also enjoy what I'm doing again while also pushing out stream beats and creating music for stream beats and getting that in front of people. Are you guys still here? Oh, I thought the internet died for a second. TK comfortable put like a little loading symbol in chat and then chat died and I was like, oh shoot. Did all the stream tests crash my stream? <laughs> but no, still by the way, an hour and three minutes, not a single dropped network frame. Not a single one. Thank you, Google Fiber. I haven't had a stream with zero dropped frames in over a year. Makes me so happy. Sounds like 100% win in my book, for sure. Yeah. So I'm pumped. I need to, I need to find time to like really start working on uh, learning lo-fi production. That's the hardest thing is like, how do I invest time when I'm still doing a million things? How do I sit down and breathe and forget everything else I'm doing and just work on lo-fi production? Cause that's, that's the biggest thing I need to learn right now. Um, since, yeah, since I moved, since we moved, we got Comcast here cause Google fiber hasn't been here. They finally installed it this week. They installed it on Saturday. Best day ever. Still lost over this Google Fiber thing. I live in a shiz hole and one gig fiber is available for me. Not Google, we don't have it here. Where do you live, Bernardo? <laughs> Thanks to your video at the GoXLR mic. I decided to purchase one, really enjoying it. Up upgraded from Yeti Nana, oh sick. The GoXLR mic is dope. Now what we really want to know is how to get that hair seller hair. We just wake up like this. Easy peasy. I've had great experience. I've heard a lot of good things about AT&T fiber too. You can get up to five gigs, five gigs down and up. That's unbelievable. Dude, the guy, one, I just need to tell you guys this. I need to tell you something. <laughs> um, the guy at Comcast, so I called yesterday? Did I call on Sunday? I either called Sunday or I called Saturday. I don't remember. I called and canceled Comcast. I think I called Saturday. Canceled Comcast. The guy I spoke to, um, the guy I spoke to, First of all, answered the phone, tried to sell me on three things right away. Hey, you should upgrade to this. Hey, you should sign up for this. Hey, you should like, didn't even let me, didn't even ask what I was calling about first. Just went on to try to sell me three things as I'm calling in to cancel Comcast. Try, was trying to get me to upgrade. Then finished his spiel and asked me what I was calling about. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm canceling. <laughs> He's like, oh, sorry to hear that. Any specific reason? I said, yeah, Comcast, you get your, my internet shuts down twice a week. <laughs> I have to call in to get it shut, to get it fixed twice a week. Oh man, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, that must be a really weird situation 
Because most, most Comcast users love their service. That's what he said. Most Comcast users have a really great experience. I didn't know what to say. I didn't really know how to answer that one. Um, so I laughed. <laughs> I just like, I did, what do you say? So I laughed. And then I said, man, you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> and I said, and then I'd like, I could tell you we got really uncomfortable. So I was like, by the way, I, I know you're on the clock. Like, I, I'm not going to ask you to redact that. You're on Comcast time. Like, don't lie to me. And he's like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't redact it even if I wasn't on the clock. Comcast is great. Dude, the guy had drunk the most potent Kool-Aid in the world. I, like, how do you tell someone? You do realize the company you work for, the company you're talking about, has been for 10 years straight the most hated company in America. How do you tell me directly to me that people love Comcast? His manager was probably standing right behind him. Probably. Probably. I didn't push it. I didn't say that to him. I didn't say it to him. I wasn't going to like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not like I'm going to change. I don't even want to. I don't know this guy. It's none of my business. Anyway, so I was like, all right, bud, cool. Oh, I just need to cancel. <laughs> it was so weird. Anyway, you guys down for a super wholesome raid? We got a dude here. I see him playing some, some Apex for five people. You down for a super wholesome raid? Oh, people didn't know that? I, I didn't know that, I guess I'll stay. Yeah, seriously. Go back to Twitch? Nah, I'm alright. I might do a 24 hour stream soon here once we get this room all, like once we get this room finished, do a 24 hour stream, do it the first uh, 30 minutes on Twitch. Like we used to do on YouTube where we do the first 30 minutes on the Senpai Gaming YouTube channel. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, here's what I'll do. I will uh, restream to the Senpai Gaming channel and uh, Sent by gaming channel and my Twitch account. And then I'll move everyone from both of those to here. <laughs> Go back to Twitch chairs. Go back to Twitch chairs. Nah. <laughs> um So anyway, you guys down for uh you guys down for a wholesome raid? Let's do this guy's streaming for five people. I'll see you guys over there. I got to get to work on the next couple videos. Go to Mixer. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do a 24 hour stream soon. Let's do it from all over the whole place. Let's do it when this place is done. Let's have some fun. Anyway, love you guys. Let's uh, make sure you support this guy. Show him some love. Give him some support. Give him some encouragement. Have a good time. He's about to start a brand new game. So now's the perfect time. Go to Brime. See, that's the best idea I've ever heard. I'll see you over there and I'll see you on Wednesday. See you later, guys.